Dear brothers and sisters, India today stands at a historic crossroads. On one side, rising climate uncertainty, melting Himalayan glaciers, and the growing upstream control of China over vital rivers like the Brahmaputra River. On the other side, our bold aspiration for Vixit India 2047, a self-reliant, water-secure, fully developed India. This is Mission Vixit India, your channel dedicated to futuristic innovation, disruptive ideas, and practical solutions for a strong, sustainable India. In today's episode, we explore India's water future and the two powerful paths that lie before us. One, adapt to drought with drought resilience and innovation. Two, claim hydrological sovereignty through interlinking of our rivers within India. Both choices have merit. One offers speed and cost efficiency. The other, long-term strategic security. Let's dive deeper. The first path is all about adapting to less water, growing smarter, not harder. Instead of high water demand crops like sugarcane and long duration paddy, India can shift to millets, pulses, oil seeds, and short duration rice. This means one training of farmers through Krishi Vigyan Kendras, two promoting drip irrigation and rainwater harvesting, three supporting farmer producer organizations to ensure market linkage, four offering subsidies for seeds and irrigation tools, and five expanding crop insurance for risk reduction. These solutions are community based, low cost, and quick to deploy. But here's the catch. Even with all this, we still remain vulnerable if upstream water of Brahmaputra River is controlled by China, especially during dry spells from October to May, when the Brahmaputra's flow reduces drastically. That's where Path 2 enters. India's water sovereignty via inland river interlinking can be an option. This would be India's boldest water mission, interlinking rivers to ensure long-term water security. Imagine diverting surplus water from rivers. Ravi, Bees, and Sutlej in Punjab to support the Brahmaputra Basin and beyond. This would involve massive canals, water tunnels and pumping stations, multi-state water infrastructure, and secure storage and transfer systems. It's a 12 to 15 year engineering effort, with an estimated cost of 2.5 to 3.5 lakh crore rupees, or about 35 to 40 billion US dollars. Can we as a nation rise to the challenge of investing 3.5 lakh crore rupees across the next 12 to 15 years to achieve lasting water sovereignty? But what are the challenges? Engineering and environmental challenges can be addressed with our strong will. Terrain and technology? Well, the Himalayan region's steep geography makes open canals nearly impossible. So, what's the solution? Underground water tunnels with solar-powered pumps, State disputes like the Sutlej Yamuna Link Canal between Punjab and Haryana are a reminder of political delays. The answer? Create a national water arbitration framework to ensure cooperation. Environmental impact is also a concern. Unplanned interbasin transfers could harm biodiversity. To tackle this, we should use green canals, buffer zones, and conduct deep environmental impact assessments. Then there's earthquake risk. The Brahmaputra lies in a seismic zone. Here, flexible, earthquake-resistant designs with modular tunnel systems are the way forward. And finally, funding bottlenecks. The cost is enormous and delays could stall progress. The solution? Adopt PPP models, water bonds, and phase-wise execution to attract private capital. This isn't just about hydrology, it's about strategic independence. So the big question is, should India adapt to water scarcity with innovative agro-practices, or invest boldly in megawater infrastructure to achieve river independence. Our suggestion? It should be both. Let India build drought resilience in its villages while securing sovereignty in its river systems. Let us empower farmers, and simultaneously build engineering marvels that last generations. Let's not wait for adversaries to decide how much water flows into our land. Let India lead with confidence, competence, and compassion. Which path do you support? drought-resilient agro-innovation, Brahmaputra-linked water sovereignty, or a combined vision? Tell us in the comments, share this video with your MLA, MP, or local governance leader, and don't forget to subscribe to Mission Vixit India, where every episode is a blueprint for a brighter India. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind!